About a year ago, I made a video about the worst computer in the world, my 13-inch MacBook Pro late 2017 model. It was such a pain in the ass using it. In the end, it was a true nightmare. 128GB SSD, slow Intel processor, awful keyboard, poor battery life and lack of ports. Editing videos or even using Photoshop was almost impossible. I decided to change something in my life and I purchased 16-inch MacBook Pro with an M1 Pro processor and a 1TB SSD storage option. In this video, I would like to compare these two computers to show you how much better the new MacBook Pro is in comparison with previous Intel models. If you are thinking about buying an Intel-based used Mac for work or studying, or you just want to switch to a silicon-powered Mac because of its better performance and battery life, this video is made for you. In this video, I will compare my previous 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro and my new 16-inch M1 Pro MacBook. I will share with you my experience of using both computers and and why actually paying more now will make you save money on a long-term basis. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my other videos as well. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. Well, in 2020, Apple decided to stop using Intel chips in their MacBooks and they built their own processor that was called M1. This new processor used Apple's own silicon architecture and was designed specifically to be used in Apple's computers. This processor opened some new possibilities for Mac users as it was way more powerful and energy efficient than Intel-based computers. When I first tried the M1 computer, I was blown away by its performance. Apps were opening instantly in just a fraction of a second, like on your iPhone. But I already had one MacBook, and back in the day, I was unable to afford to buy myself a new computer, so I stayed with my old buddy for a couple of years. After the release of M1 Pro MacBooks, literally in just one day, my relatively recent MacBook Pro becomes a useless piece of tech. Let me present you some key differences between these two machines. First, the size. This time I decided to buy the biggest size option for the MacBook, I chose the 16-inch model. Well, let's be honest, the 13-inch is a little bit too small for creating content and even web browsing. It may be suitable for students, for taking notes and being easily transportable in your backpack, but trust me, 16 inches is so much better. It offers you more screen, a bigger trackpad and way more battery life, but I will talk about this later. So if you have enough money and you are thinking about which size is better for you, in most cases the 16 inch model will always be better and the user experience with the bigger screen will be better as well. So you are paying just a little bit more, but you are getting a way better computer. In this case, size matters. Performances Intel i5 vs M1 Pro I don't know what to say, comparing these two chips is like comparing a racing car with your old bicycle. Today with older Intel Macs, you'll be able to browse web pages, take notes in pages or Word, prepare a presentation for your school or work and maybe do some basic photo or video editing. With M1 Pro and all silicon based Macs, your possibilities are almost unlimited. You can work with multiple apps at the same time, exporting videos in 4K or even 8K will be way faster. Back in the day, exporting a 10 minute 4K video would take me at least one hour. Today, it's like 10 minutes or less, depending on the complexity of the project. You know, everything is working so smoothly and fast. It's a true Mac user paradise. And the most important difference for me is that new silicon powered Macs are working silently and are not getting hot like my previous computer. I never heard the sound of my fans even when working in Final Cut with some complex effects. I remember that putting my 30 inch MacBook Pro on my knees was a punishment because it was just too hot like lava. It was just poorly designed. New MacBooks are staying cold like ice. 
let's export the same 4K project on both computers, M1 Pro and Intel i5. Guys, the difference is very important. I will not even wait until my 13 inch Mac finishes exporting this video. You got the idea of how slow it is in comparison with my M1 Pro computer. Display 60Hz versus 100Hz ProMotion XDR display. The new ProMotion display is amazing. Once you will try 120Hz refresh rate, you will never go back to a 60Hz display. Display. But the most important part for me is the brightness level. The new display is way brighter, which means it's so much more comfortable to work outside. For a person like me, it's a game-changing feature, because I like to work outside in beautiful parks or just some nice locations. Ports. The new MacBook Pro has all the necessary ports you'll need. 3 USB-C Thunderbolt ports, 3.5mm jack and an HDMI port. Well, I'm happy to have these ports back, it's always nice to have more ports, you never know when you may need them. Keyboard and trackpad old versus new. The old keyboard was awful, the butterfly mechanism was very weak and uncomfortable to use. The old good Mac keyboard is back. The key travel is bigger and it's way more comfortable to type and work on the new keyboard. It's just simply better. Plus, it has Touch ID. On the 16-inch model, the trackpad is even bigger, which makes it even more comfortable to use. It's about the size of my hand. Again, another advantage of buying a 16-inch model. You are getting bigger trackpad. Battery life. 4 hours versus 21 hours. This is the biggest feature of the new silicon-powered Macs. My old Mac was done after 4 hours of basic usage if I had a big chance. The new one is giving you an impressive 21 hours of battery life and it's totally true. It's amazing. It means you can go through the whole day of work without the need to look for a power socket. Please be aware that if you will buy 13 or 14 inch MacBook Pro, it will give you around 18 hours of battery life. Because the housing is smaller, and they are putting a smaller battery inside. With the 16 inches, you are getting a bigger screen but also a bigger battery, while keeping the same processor, which means you will have more juice in the 16 inch model. Again, another advantage of using a bigger MacBook model. The overall user experience is obviously better on a new MacBook Pro. I do not recommend you to buy an old Intel based MacBook at all. Imagine you will pay 500 to 700 bucks for a used model, but in one year your Mac will become totally obsolete and you will be forced again to purchase a new computer and spend even more money. So it's better to pay more now for an M1 or M2 computer to keep it for at least several years than saving money and buying an old era computer that anyway will be dead very soon. What's the point of doing that? Verdict. The old Intel Macs can still be used for some basic tasks, but I think their life cycle is coming to the end. One day Apple will cut Intel processors from future macOS updates, basically when the Apple product is not getting software updates, it's almost dead. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tech oriented content and check out my other videos as well. Thanks again and see you later on YouTube, bye bye.